Well, hello. This is Captain Slade Braddock of the Empire of Pirates and Independent Cartels, also known as the Epic Pirates or Pirates of the Delta, depending on which social media you're involved with. Um, welcome to the planet of Anya in the, uh, the Pidstain system in the region of Astara in the Euclid galaxy and in the Delta Quadrant. Uh, the Epic Pirates, or Empire of Pirates and Independent Cartels, is uh, involved with a group called the Free Delta Initiative. In fact, we're one of the founders, along with uh, the Hidden Panda Show and the Cafe 42, uh, No Man's Sky Cafe fame. Uh, Lily Hop, DG Squared, Panda, and myself, Slade Braddock, have started this uh, hub here on this and 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 on this planet is uh, our capital our capital building and the many bases of uh, some of our 80 members 80 plus probably by the time this airs um, we have uh, a whole bunch of bases on this planet and if you'll bear with me and be patient with me I will uh, sort of travel around and give you a tour of some of the bases here and um, give you an idea of what the Free Delta Initiative is all about. Um, we are a, a loose federation of civilizations uh, with no naming conventions. Uh, we pretty much have one rule and one rule only that we observe very strictly and that is respect the others in the organization and you know kind of the do unto others um, paradigm and beyond that uh, people are free to do what they like that's why we call it the free part uh, the Delta part is because we're in the Delta quadrant and uh, it's uh, it's our initiative to do what we like and that's what we we have here this is my recent base just finished this this morning uh, this of uh, uh, the Sphinx uh, which I have called this base the sands of time for obvious reasons and as you can see, there's Stevenson in the background, uh, and he's one of the, the residents of this planet. He's one of the natives, and he's about 18 feet tall. Or, or uh, actually, he's uh, close to 25 feet tall. I'm wrong. Dave, his uh, his uh, other buddy, he's about 18 feet tall. But uh, we'll we'll meet them later. Uh, this is the sands of time. I'm gonna throw it into camera mode and give you. An idea here. Oops. Oh, here's a here's a night night view of this build, and and this is my like I said, this is my base, and this is really the only base I've really been truly proud of. Uh, so I put a little little time and effort into this one, and it actually hasn't come out too badly. I'm I'm really uh, glad, but uh, we have the. Uh, the sands of time and this is the sphinx which is obviously built on the uh, sort of the scale of uh, the the uh, sphinx at Cheops in Egypt and uh, got some neat little things here uh, the eyes are terminus termi terminuses <laughs> terminuses whatever you want to whatever you want to say it. I didn't have a snake a cobra for the headdress uh, but I did have this really cool gold statue that we used of a diplo that we got from uh, Polo in the Quicksilver. And uh, we sort of made do with what we had, um, learning to build. Um, nothing on the scale of, uh, of some of the wonderful builders of, of uh, No Man's Sky, but uh, I'm picking some things up here and there from my buddies. Uh, Martin Boyd's helped out a great deal. Um, Solid Snake, also known as John Hall. Uh, Panda is a, is a pretty... Uh, talented builder and and just a, a whole bunch of really talented people have helped me to sort of figure some of the things out um, but this is uh, this is my uh, my build and my baby and the one I'm most proud of so let's go have a look around uh, so far uh, it's pretty empty it's hollow I'll take you in the back door here a little secret entrance and uh, this is not what it will be when I'm finished with it, but right now it's pretty hollowed out. Um, and as you can see, there's there's not a lot here, but 
you can see all the bases and see all the icons <laughs> scattered all over this planet and uh, you know a lot of uh, a lot of talented people there's God smacked um, uh, we have Tomcat we have Marty Merrick we have uh, agent Tomcat I'm sorry Marty Merrick we have um, uh, Hidden Jew Agenda uh, the other half of the Hidden Panda show along with Panda um, who else do we have? We have uh, with bases on, on this planet. We have uh, Fox Mulder. We have uh, DG Squared. We have Salt Snake John Hall. Uh, we have we have Hidden. We have Agent Tomcat. And we have uh, Sword. Oh my god, I'm sure you know who Sword is. We have Cousin Walt. And I know I'm missing a whole bunch of other people. And, and forgive me for that. But uh, who else do we have here? We have... Um, Stark Wolf, oh my gosh, who could forget Stark Wolf? What a what a major contributor to to the FDI uh, he is. Um, we have Portland 2013. Um, we have people here I don't I don't even know who, but we'll get off on that here for a while. And Marty Merrick, I, I probably already mentioned Marty. He he's awesome. Uh, we have just a lot of folks uh, from from Epic, um, from Cafe 42, from uh, in in and just a lot of good folks from from the FDI and we're all about it here at the FDI you come to the Delta Quadrant uh, you're automatically qualified just by virtue of the fact that you're in our area of space we welcome you as a brother or sister uh, fellow um, appreciator of uh, no man's sky and all things space um, here we are we're up in the head of the Sphinx as you can see I've, I've these are the eyes their terminuses both of which work um, you're only supposed to have uh, one uh, terminus per base but we figured out a way around that limitation uh, bit of a cheater from time to time I am uh, we've even got bats in the belfry look at this <laughs> you've always suspected it now here's some proof right there bats in the belfry Slade Braddock um, well that's enough of that that's enough of my base. Let's uh, let's go check out some others while we've got time. And as you can see, it's just a beautiful planet, just a beautiful system. Um, the Delta Quadrant is is uh, one of the richest, most beautiful areas in the in all of uh, in all of No Man's Sky and the Euclid Galaxy. And you can see uh, some more of the local residents. That's uh, I'm pretty sure that's Stevenson. It is Stevenson, and look, he's he's 24 feet tall, a little over 24 feet tall. He's just a gigantic creature, and so so cool. Um, I'm not sure where Dave is. Dave's around here somewhere, but he's only a little smaller than this crazy cracking dude here. He's awesome. As you can see, he just literally shakes the ground when he walks. People pay attention. But, uh, all right, let's uh, get one last look at the Sands of Time build. I'll do another quick camera view. And uh, cruise around real fast just to give you an overview. I won't go in behind because of camera limitations, but... yeah there she is pretty proud of this build so hope you enjoy it uh, but let's uh, let's move on to some of these other crazy crazy builds here in the FDI um, and uh, you know there's there's a there's a lot of stuff going on here so what we'll do is uh, we'll try and give it plenty of you know each base plenty of time to load so bear with me um, and we'll just start with the first one to pop up on the system here some of these I know a little bit about, some I don't, um, because uh, again I haven't had a chance to really get to know everyone as well as I'd like. Uh, we're working on that. It's one of the coolest things about this game is just how uh, you know uh, it really brings a lot of uh, like-minded people together, uh, especially those of the the science fiction variety. Uh, there's a there's a lot of fans of that genre, and um, you know this game really attracts that. Uh, so we've oh, we've got three bases right in a row here. We've got Sword, Mr. Sword. 
uh, of the amino hub and uh, also a great contributor to the FDI and uh, he's got a base built here an amazing farm and then Mr. Stark Wolf is an FDI alumnus um, and then we've got Portland 2013 I'm not sure uh, what his name is in game uh, but that's his PSN and let's start we'll go from right to left we'll start with Mr. Stark Wolf's base and uh, we'll zoom right in on down here on him and uh, yeah, it's going to be a moment rendering. It's each base is, is contributing to the complexity of the whole planet, from what I gather. Um, we'll just do a little bit of a fly around so we don't uh, hop right out and fall right through the planet as this server sort of stabilizes a little bit. And But, you know, you can get a pretty good idea of the beauty of this planet. And the remarkable color palettes as, as the as the time goes by, they just change, you know, from daytime to nighttime, and and uh, it's really pretty astonishing what Hello Games has done. And here we go, here we go. The base is beginning to render. Well, I know it's safe to land on the landing pad. We'll just stay in our ship until some of this pops into view a little bit. So it's been a while since I've been here, so um, we will. Uh, We'll at least get the rain sound off of there, but um, it looks like most of it is rendered now. So uh, if we stay on the walkway, perhaps we'll be safe, and not fall through. As we wait for everything to render up, and this is again, this is Stark Wolf's base. We'll, we'll, we won't spend too much time on any one base, just due to the fact that uh, time constraints and the length of this video. Um, Local Trade Center structure entered. Very cool. I've never noticed that before, but uh, that was cool. We've got, looks like another landing pad over here. Got some beautifully windowed uh, built structures in here. Um, and uh, again, we don't, I, we don't have time to spend too much time on each one, but we'll uh, do a quick walkthrough. Wow. Well, he really maximizes the view on this planet, the way he's got this laid out. Um, I just want to set up a lawn chair and just kick it right here and have a drink, which, which I might just do that anyway. Um, but just look at these remarkable colors. Since the Visions update, um, wow, it's really captured a lot of uh, you know the E3 trailer, uh, plus what was added afterwards. I, I just think it's so much more than... than uh, than we really could have asked for. I've done an amazing job at it. I don't want to get too neckbeard about about all of it, but uh, yeah, they've done a great job. All right, all right. Let's get to the rest of this base. And uh, I just I love all the windowed views around here. Here we've got a large refiner. I'm tempted to stop and do some duplication glitching, but. Uh, we don't have the time for that. Welcome to Stark Industries. Home of the original Iron Man right here. We've got our blueprint analyzer. Some gas harvesters out back. And that's the base computer and a safe point. Well, might as well throw a save down real fast. Since we're here at all. This plant's called Essence of Ard. And that's Dave's toothpick. And if you've met Dave, you'll know why he needs such a large toothpick. He's absolutely huge. Uh, really love how uh, th this community is coming together. Eh? And I can't stress that enough. The old signal booster. And there are the coordinates for our fair system right here. Um, you can get a good look at that. Come on by for a visit. And this is Stark Industries. Welcome to it, and uh, thank you, Stark Wolf, for allowing us to uh, have a look at your awesome base. And we will uh, we'll be on our merry way now, starting in toward nighttime here on planet Anya. 
hopping the old Starhawk. And I think Sortie's base is up next, and I think we're we're even faced right next to it, so. Yes, sir, Sword 1701. He's just not far away at all, so that makes it an easy choice of where to go next. And if you've ever seen any of Sword's bases, uh, you know, you've been missing out. That's, I mean, I can't say uh, too much more than that, but uh, this gentleman knows how to build a base and also a farm. Um, if you need materials, if you need any sort of uh, building materials whatsoever, this is the gentleman that you want to speak to. It looks like it's mostly rendered already. That, that actually didn't take too long. Pretty happy about that. And we're right on top. And uh, I want to spend a lot of time here, but we just don't, we don't have the time. But as you can see, uh, he maximizes every bit of space. Um, and these are all domes and each one of these has plants in it and, and uh, you know for building circuit boards or, or what have you um, whatever is your pleasure uh, that's what you can you can expect to get out of one of swords bases um, and we'll, we'll throw it into camera mode here real quick and just do a we'll just do a quick video tour and, and you know just so you can get the scope of what this this gentleman has created here it's uh it's not only functional it's it's a thing of beauty it looks like a four leaf clover kind of uh um, it's got pretty much everything you need on it uh materials of all sorts it's just uh he's a hell of a builder i mean what else can you say and um continuing on see if we can't get down inside of it I think there is a an entrance right over here it will allow us down into the base yes sir here we are and as you can see he, he, he knows what he's about when I'm building this stuff am I uh, Am I trying to get through a place I'm not supposed to get through here? <laughs> here we go. Oh yeah. Oh, he's got his. He's got his uh, storage containers right up in here, and I'm gonna have to ask him how he did that because I I got mine in my base too, but I I cheated a little bit, and it wasn't easy, and it doesn't look as good, so. He's got some portable refiners, or some large refiners rather, for uh, ease of duplication or refinering. Refinering, did I just say that? Refining, let's try that again. Refining. <laughs> okay. Yes, sir. And we'll take you down one of these hallways and show you what these domes are all about. And he's got some, what looks like some... Uh, solar vines uh, and uh, you can get selenium uh, from these solar vines and, and you can see them popping up as, as you get close to them the procedural generation you can see them this is what they look like and each one of those you can is a component for whatever you'd like to build some really great tech um, but what a complex I'm sure you'll agree this is a master technician at work here but uh, let's go ahead and head on out and check out some more of these awesome bases if I can find my ship got a bit of a storm but uh, all right well got the Matador. I did not mention Matador yet, did I? Well, he is also another amazing base builder. There's Marty Merrick. He's off planet, so we're going to have to miss him this time around. I'm, trying, I'm actually looking for... Um, I'd like to get to Panda's base and show you the Fiji build. We saw Stark Wolf. 
cousin Walt DG squared there's Panda let's just put a highlight marker on his base and let's head over there real quick he's my partner so I'm gonna give him some props on this build all right you know, let's get the right one targeted here still don't want to target the right one so we'll just get in the neighborhood how about that and we'll retarget heading to the light side of the planet We will also, if there's time, we'll hit up the capital build. And we'll talk a little bit about that as we get there. Um, uh, just touch on it a little bit. Built by uh, the Galactic Construction Company with a little bit of help from yours truly, Slate Braddock. We, um, we, we built a capital uh, building for the Free Delta Initiative. And it uh, turned out really well, um, thanks to... Martin's expertise in building and in just, uh, you know, uh, visualizing uh, what he wants to build. I, I did n nothing more uh, other than pretty much hand him materials and watch him build everything. Uh, <laughs> uh, but I was pleased to be a part of it, and I was glad that uh, I was able to help him out with it a little bit. And, and we're in Panda's base, and this is going to take, because it's quite extensive, so it's going to take quite a while to render. And again, we're just going to fly around just a bit and allow that to sort of take shape before we land. So you could get an idea of, oh, here we go. Oh, we could go into, I was going to say go into camera mode, but there's not a lot to see yet. Oh, here we go. And this is another beautiful build, and this is just, uh, just quite a work of art, what Panda's done here. And I understand uh, Hidden Jew Agenda also helped them out with this build. Um, as you can see, it turned out really well. Um, again, initially this was on a, a very Earth-like planet. And this was, um, he named it Fiji. Uh, because uh, it was just as beautiful as Fiji. Still is, just a different color palette now. It's not the blue water, blue sky with the green grass. Uh, but it's still very much a lush tropical paradise. And um, we'll throw it into camera mode and kind of give you an overview real quick. Like, doesn't look like it's all rendered yet. No, it's not even close. Um, but this is the basic layout of it. And um, very beautiful. Sort of Quonset hut. Um, you know, tiki torch. Let's uh, have a drink by the pool. Sort of a resort building build and uh yeah we're waiting for this is all a, a tree lined uh, causeway right here uh, palm trees and, and lights and just beautiful at night it's not it's not rendering all the way up here like it should it's missing all the the foliage still um pen is going to be mad that i even probably tried to film this but uh especially since it doesn't look near as uh as beautiful uh since it's not really rendering but let's get a little closer maybe we can get it to pop up some more of this stuff here we go as we get a little closer it's more of this stuff is is sort of coming into view and, and blooming as we speak and you can see these beautiful palm trees right here isn't that isn't that something uh, but they're not all showing up but you kind of get an idea of what he's done here um, and over here is a restaurant slash uh, cafe bar and grill area very very awesome and again it's not most of it is not rendered yet and uh, we'll try and get get an idea look at this bar look at this restaurant I mean don't you just want to spend some time here have a couple of drinks with some buddies and Maybe take a submarine ride in the Nautilon around the bay here. But, uh, yeah, we're hoping that eventually uh, the rendering issues will uh, be a little less excruciating, you know, with future updates and, and future patches and whatnot from Hello Games. 
we uh, we're anticipating a lot of good stuff and here we go as you can see we're starting to really things are starting to really pop into place uh, here and flesh out quite a bit and now you're starting to see the beauty of, of what uh, of what he's built here and uh, yeah it's just uh, it's looking quite amazing panda you've you've uh, you've done a fantastic job here and uh, you know hopefully the uh, the server issues and the rendering issues will will uh, be worked out at some point and not be quite such an issue moving forward uh, but in the meantime we'll make do with what we've got oh wow look at this I I haven't seen this yet uh, it's been a while since I've been here um, but this is just I really wish this was a real-life place because uh, I want to spend some time here and let's uh, let's hop up on top Wow. Well done. Just well done. I wish I had the capacity to build things like this myself. I just don't, but I sure can appreciate those those who do and, and their ability to, to do that and to create things like this. Um. <laughs> what a neat little area. Very, very cool. Oh. We've got another uh, set of stairs down here. Where is this going to? Another little uh, private area. Very cool. Wow. <laughs> wow. This is a nice little suite. Uh, this is where uh, Slade Braddock will be staying, I'm pretty sure, right in this, this little area here. I'm not sure uh, who this was set aside for, but I'm a pirate, and I will commandeer this this area for my very own oh my goodness look at this this is just sick really really tight like it a lot yes sir what a great build what a very very cool place to be and as we see a hauler landing in the background or on the landing pad. Uh, is there any more secret areas to be discovered in this little area? We may have discovered them all. I doubt it, but you never know. Really, really cool. Really, really cool. Let's, uh, let's, uh, let's head over to this area here. Yeah, things are starting to pop into view now. This little veranda right here. Looks like our causeway is almost completely rendered now. Well, what have we got here? A little dock area down here. This is where the private... And I'm guessing there's probably going to be a Nautilon area down here or some underwater uh, structures at some point. Give you some view of some underwater flora on this planet. Unfortunately, we won't have time to do any exploring underwater, but kind of get an idea there. There's nightfall drops on on you, drops on you. <laughs> A new type of beauty uh, really uh, catches your fancy. And as you can tell, all the lighting is not quite uh, rendered night. Really, don't expect it to, but uh, but enough of it is that you get you get a pretty good general idea of what this place would look like if it was all allowed to render, you know, simultaneously and, and get a get a uh, good view of of everything all at once. Um, pretty solid. Pretty pretty beautiful. You got more things procedurally generating right before our very eyes. You can kind of see what's going on here. I'll try not to be too herky jerky with the camera view, but uh, yeah. Oh, and another little docking area, it looks like. Cruise 
upstairs here, see what's going on. Got an aquarium in case, you know, you're digging the marine motif here. This might be my uh, my home away from home, ladies and gentlemen. All right, well, as much as I'd like to spend even more time here, we just don't have the time to spend if we want to look at any more bases here. And I guess probably you should just jump right to the FDI Capitol building because they want to show that off. Um, and let's just do a quick camera if we don't crash here. <laughs> we'll be in good shape. Now that more of this base is rendered, we can uh, we can get an idea, uh, at least of what what has rendered so far. And uh, some of it's already popped back out since we've walked away from it, but that's that's too bad. But uh, hopefully you've got a pretty good idea of what uh, of the extent of the of the build here. Um, a lot of beauty, a lot of creativity going on here, and uh, and I'm digging it. I don't know about y'all, but yeah, here we go. Now she's she's looking pretty. So we'll head back to the ship. We'll be on our way to the. FDI Capitol building uh, of the Free Delta Initiative, and we'll give you some narration as we head that way. We'll see if we can get an idea of where it is. Gosh, we've got so many bases on this planet now that uh, and I'm thinking that might be the way. We'll mark that and head that away. And Well done, Panda. Where is our goal? Up there, huh? We're going to just head this away. I don't know if that's the portal or my base. Oh, there it is. Okay. I say my base because that's uh, it's really the capital. And uh, it's only my base because I was the one to put down the base computer. But this is um, this was built for everyone in the FDI. Um, again, what an amazing community of, of civilizations uh, and, and individual members is the FDI. We uh, we are grateful to have such a high quality, high caliber of uh, of folks that we are able to associate with. And as we approach the FDI Capitol building, and this will hopefully render reasonably quickly, although it's taking its time here, we will uh, attempt a landing in the landing pad as the rest of it is procedurally generated. And uh, hop out. But we'll stay safely on the landing pad for now until at least some of this uh, area has generated so we don't fall through the planet. Yeah, there we go. Looks like the building is just about... At least the exterior is uh, loaded up and it looks like most of the flora. So we should be safe to... Uh, stand on the planet itself terra firma and uh, this is the magnificence of the uh, FDI Capitol building built by uh, again I don't know if I mentioned this but uh, Martin Boyd of Boyd Gaming and the Galactic Construction Company uh, he and I built this he it was his uh, vision and my uh, materials handling that enabled him to build this. I uh, handed him all the materials and he built it. That was the extent of my involvement with it. But uh, 
as you can see he is he's what you'd call a master builder and it's not quite fully rendered as all the lights have not popped up yet um, but it's it's getting there you, you kind of see the, the general architecture that it took to create this as it continues to come into view here you you, you can just appreciate the uh, the, uh, the artistic uh, ability of, uh, of Mr. Martin Boyd. Well, let's head on in and see how much of this is actually rendered. It's going to probably be a little while before it's fully rendered, but no, it looks like quite a bit of it has shown up already. Yeah. So you get an idea of uh, the talent level that we're dealing with here in uh, Galactic Construction Company, and, and they do take donations for the Alzheimer's UK Foundation uh, for a very pretty very pretty small donation. Uh, they will come in and they will build you a structure similar to this, or completely different, uh, depending on what you're asking for. They are able to do a lot of different build types, as they have a number of different builders and skill levels at their disposal. Um, again, for uh, a small donation to the Alzheimer's UK Foundation, they will uh, they will they will do a, a really good build for you. And they've been featured on Hello Games website. In fact, Hello Games, Sean Murray himself even donated, matched uh, uh, their uh, their uh, to date total of donations and matched it dollar for dollar uh, to the UK Alzheimer's Foundation. And uh, that was just a class move by, by Hello Games. And I want to shout out hugely to uh, Hello Games for doing that. Um, they don't have to do that. Oh, here's our comms. Welcome to the Free Delta Initiative. And indeed, welcome to the Free Delta Initiative. I could go on and on. Um, about the talent level that went into building this, but uh, just I'll oh, just allow you to feast your eyes. Well, this nears the end of our tour of our beautiful little system, beautiful little planet, and uh, I only wish you could meet the members uh, in this video, but you unfortunately will not be able to. What you can do is join, you know, either the Epic Pirates. Uh, the Cafe 42 or the FDI in general and uh, you know introduce yourself on our, on our Amino and uh, you know get a chance to, to meet all these wonderful folks they are pretty awesome and you have a formal invitation to join us again welcome to the Free Delta Initiative Slade Braddock, at your service, and we will talk to you later. Thanks for putting up with us.